Head lice are a common health condition, especially in children. These stubborn insects may be difficult to remove from the hair and can be quite contagious. Symptoms of head lice include visible detection of lice in the hair, and an itching, tingling, or tickling sensation on the scalp. Lice are parasitic insects. They need a host to provide nourishment so they can live. They form a parasitic relationship with humans as their host, with blood from the scalp as their source of nourishment. Head lice live close to the scalp, and sometimes in the eyelashes and eyebrows. Travel method, lice have six claws designed to hold onto a single hair shaft. They also use their claws to crawl down toward your scalp when it's time to feed. Head lice can't fly, hop, or swim. However, lice that are in water like in a bathtub or swimming pool are still tightly attached to the hair, and can survive underwater for up to eight hours. If the insects fall off their host into the water, they'll die because they become separated from their food source. Life cycle, the life cycle of a louse begins as an egg, also called a knit. The knit is a whitish yellow speck that is about one millimeter in length. It attaches itself firmly to an individual hair strand close to the scalp. After seven to 10 days, the knit hatches and becomes what is known as a nymph or a young louse. Nymphs are usually between 1.1 and 1.3 millimeters and tan or white in color. Nymphs mature into adult lice within about 9 to 12 days. Mature adults don't tend to grow larger than 2 millimeters, and female lice are larger than males. Mature lice live for about 3 to 4 weeks. Treating your hair in home, head lice don't live very long without a human host, but can transfer from one person to another easily through close personal contact. It's important to treat lice immediately and thoroughly to avoid an infestation. Medicated shampoos are designed to kill adult lice and nits. Examples include Nix and Rid. These and other brands may contain ingredients such as pyrethrins and pyrethroids. Unfortunately, shampoos that contain pyrethroid may no longer be effective in treating lice. At home remedies for lice removal, treating lice at home without medicated shampoos hasn't been as widely studied. However, there are some methods that could be effective in treating lice at home. Some options include, essential oils, essential oils haven't been proven to always kill lice. However, some people have tried applying plant oils like tea tree, anise, or lang lang to the hair. Smothering, applying compounds to the hair to smother lice is another natural approach. Examples of products that may be used to smother lice include, butter, mayonnaise, petroleum jelly, olive oil. Preventing lice, because young children often transmit lice, it can be difficult to take preventive measures. They may not understand the importance of preventing head-to-head -head contact. However, there are some steps you can take, teach your child to avoid head-to-head -head contact with others, and refrain from playing with or fixing other children's hair. Teach your child to avoid sharing personal care items like brushes, combs, hats, scarves, and jackets. Examine your child's hair every three to four days if lice have been reported at their daycare or school. Don't worry, getting rid of head lice can be time-consuming, but a case of head lice is not a health hazard. Lice don't carry disease and don't harm the head or scalp, but you can prevent head lice by not sharing combs, hairbrushes, hair accessories, towels, bedding, hats, or scarves with a person who has head lice.